Alright, bitch. You're going down. You're going down. Yeah, so this is one of my favorite battles in the game. Lots of enemies. A nice conceit trying to save Spirio. Uh, Bassander's locked behind a bridge there, which means that it's very difficult to to, to mob her, unlike previous uh, bosses. So this is this is one of the battles that, despite uh, any leveling I may have done or whatever, um, it always seems to provide a good challenge. And I think. Uh, You'll be happy to hear that. That there's finally some sort of challenge. But the first order of business is to sort out this uh, ruin. Dantares and uh, Sybil are going to go in there, as well as Eldar, I believe. Um, I've given Dantares a, a ring that we found in Look, Look Over, called the Ibiru Ring. Um, which is supposed to be a, it's a mistranslation of evil, Ibiru, in Japanese, so evil evil ring and it grants uh, if used gives you spark too and you'll see why that's important later how kind of hilarious masculine can do that much damage As you can see, lizard men now just not a threat in the slightest. They're just there to make up the numbers, it would seem. Khan's gonna get to attack someone for a change. Yeah, I, I 40 damage, see that's great. I, I remember I was making lots of promises that Khan would would beef up a bit. And uh, it kind of never came to pass just because I haven't really used him for anything. <laughs> He's just sort of been there. Um, but yeah, hopefully this and the final battle he'll, he'll get a chance to show his stuff. It's very important to get Eldar into this ruin because um, her ability to fly basically makes getting the the Mitra Ankh, just a matter of process, really. It's a very simple ruin, actually, barring the one conceit. I think it would be a very difficult ruin if you didn't know what to expect. I, I think I think the thing with this ruin is that you go in to it and you expect just like a standard thing, and then there are, there, there's an obstacle in your path that, uh, if you're not aware of, can pretty much destroy any chance you have of catching up to the thief. Yeah, so this battle's probably going to take a long time. Make up a fair few videos. But that's fun, isn't it? Minus was there, great for experience, great for experience. Oh, you're attacking Irene. Ha! Well, I guess uh, it doesn't really matter. I'll first look inside the ruin, and as you can see there, there's a whole shit ton of barrels. And uh, yeah, that comes that comes into play, those barrels. I'm not sure if Masculine's actually going to be able to get in. Uh, actually, I'm, I'm going to send Masculine in just in case. She's going to be an insurance policy. Khan is gonna whoop some ass. Okay, he's gonna whoop a little bit of ours. 
Actually, I'm going to keep Noon here because we, we, I, I spied that Harpy there. If that Harpy confused Noon, then uh, it could be bad news because he could summon Wendigo on someone. We do not want a repeat of the the Sybil and Elda incident. Which still makes me cry to this day. Yeah, so my people are just going to wait around here. Okay, so Sybil's going to get into the ruin. Lovely jubbly. Dantares will get in on this turn as well. And Irene can stand around. Yeah, so things are going to come to a bit of a halt once we're in the ruin, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say. Uh, but it's, it's a necessary... it's a necessary evil, you know. Oh, please don't confuse Eldar. I need Eldar for the fucking ruin. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. If Eldar had gotten confused, it would have made the ruin a lot more difficult. But I'll just point this out. The reason why Elda did not get confused is because she's got a, a, a higher luck level now. Uh, level 6 because I made her an Artemis pin from the small mithril in Mallory. And Artemis pin gives a plus 2 increase in luck. Which is why it's very important for me to give it to as many members of my force as possible. Because increased luck prevents you getting status, status worries. And status worries are something we really have to worry about in the Heroes Test. But the Heroes Test is the next... No, I can't remember. The Heroes Test is the next challenge after this battle. Technically speaking, you, you can just go straight from this battle. This is the pen Technically speaking, this is the penultimate battle. Um, the Heroes Test is an optional dungeon that you can choose to take on and only a fool would not take it on because it's awesome. Just it will level you up like a mole fucker. What the hell? I need to level up in axes anyway. Tomahawk on me. There we go. Yeah, the Heroes Test. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about that when we get to it because, you know, I don't want to spill the beans too early, you know. Talk about everything before we get there and then there's nothing to talk about when we do get there. Premature. Premature. Anyway. Well, I'm actually can't get in the fucking ruin anyway, so I'm just not even going to bother that. If you can't get on on this turn, just forget about it. And I'm not going to waste her magic either, because these other people can just as easily take that bastard out. Come on, Khan, look, I'm giving you a good chance here to show your metal. Ah. Oh. Well, I guess it happened. Every playthrough I've been on, Khan has been the man, but this playthrough, he's decidedly average. <laughs>